Hi there, this is a poem I wrote. It's a was a suicidal poem, an example of one of those that I wrote uh, back in April 10th of 2011. It's entitled Left to Right. It goes like this. Uh, bear with me, I haven't read it in a while and I'm trying to read it. Um, some parts of it might not flow too well, but I'll try. Still, I like it. Uh, what more is left for me to write with thick ink bleeding through the night? What magic words must I recite? Which prayer, what God might ease my fight? What faded curse will end it all? A showdown at high noon or some new snack to fall? Inside my brain, angels fight, demons crawl. Still too early to tell which side's winning the sprawl. During these battles, the grim reaper looms in the dark corner waiting while watching cartoons. So I ask him, knowing full well he has no plan to reply. How long m more must I linger while only waiting to die? How long shall I tend life's green garden of gloom, whose thorn vines grow entangled yet so rarely bloom? So then, Mr. Grimm, what does God want me to say? Life's such a great blessed gift. Please don't take it away. Death merely grins at me a brief moment, but never says a word. Yet still I speak in hopes his dead ears have heard. I deeply sigh. There's no need to cry. Whatever side may win. On life and death, they don't judge. Like yin and yang, they only spin. I try to put my pride aside and reach for something more. To be alive and feel free to thrive as I have felt a few times before. I want to take flight on some warm summer night to fly like an eagle that soars. To engage in a kiss and pure enjoy pure savage bliss, making love to my lover outdoors. I want to laugh till my cheeks start to ache. I want to feel less emotional pain. To drop painful baggage I hold in my apart, heart. Maybe trade in this much damaged brain. I want to believe that I actually am loved. Uh, that the whole world's not fucked and that God is above. I want to believe that people both near and far are mostly kind. But as for now, my friend Death, that's just not on my mind. As for right now, the night is pitch black. The north wind blows steady, still bitterly cold. My youth, it has passed far from my sight. Tonight, I feel so fucking old. I've forgotten stories and jokes and some deep secrets told. They now, for some reason, seem less important to hold. Um, some, sometimes it's hard to recall which of life's lessons to heed. What card should I fold? What shit do I need? Uh, Reaper, I ask, who will care for me when my final day comes? Why do I wear my seatbelt each day and still wish to own a nice gun? Uh, though the controls are set straight to the heart of the sun, uh, if my last breath comes tonight, it will still have been a good run. Um, I'm sure tonight won't bring my last gasp, uh, the, the Reaper, he always stands near. I had to jot down these thoughts, though, in an attempt to acknowledge my fears. I fear the thought of suffering and pain when I'm older, senile, perhaps all alone. I fear fear losing all the things I've ever loved and getting tossed from my castle and my home. I fear walking the streets, getting beat up and kicked down, left to die in some dirty gutter, where cannibal hobos might debate who's most apt to fairly divide up my blubber. Uh, the last fear I wrote, of course, was just in chest. Uh, the rest of this poem from the black hole in my chest. Uh, thank you, dear Lord, for the words you provide me that help me to s describe this pain deep inside me. Though I complain, so I have to confess where I see, when I see where I am now, Lord, I can't deny how I'm blessed. So, amen and thank you. Ahumutakiasu, all my relations. Peace. Skydog.